This is ASS Breaking News. Allah Akbar! Allah Akbar! Salam alaikum and welcome, Habibis, to another ASS news segment. Rock Jarkinson is out on assignment, probing Siraj's dick, making sure it's still there. We have a very special segment here uh, today with you all with uh, the National Incel Foundation. They're here, uh, they're here to discuss they're here to discuss with me the breaking news, the historic leak of, uh, of, of a SCOTUS opinion that has not yet been pub- uh, public. Mr. Point Dexter, thank you for thank you for joining me today. Uh, sir, that is not my last name, sir. It is Point Dexter Cummings, okay? Mr. Mr. Cummings, I'm very, very sorry for that, <laughs> Cummings. Thank you very much for joining us here today. So what is it exactly that the National uh, Incel Foundation is going to do about this, this leak? As president of the National Incel Foundation, we strongly condemn, in the harshest possible terms, Justice Samuel Alito and his devastating opinion on a woman's right to choose. We here at the National Incel Foundation, as president of the National Incel Foundation, make a pledge on this day forth on ASS News. This is an exclusive just for you, ass man. We here at the National Incel Foundation pledge to never have sex with any woman so long as Roe v. Wade is not codified. Or man. Or raccoon. uh... Or gerbil. That's that's, that's 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 going over the top, don't you think? I mean, Nothing for you, for you and the 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 four members of your organization. Our numbers are growing strong by the hour. And every other week, as as an incel, aren't you a virgin? We here at the National Incel Foundation. While yes, we are involuntary celibates. It is a foolproof plan that this pledge will work. Right. And and what is what is a woman to you exactly? It is crystal clear that anything nowadays in 2022 can be a woman. The hole in the wall in my bedroom, that's technically a woman. Her name's So Doris. that hole that hole in the wall. Uh, that that you like to call Doris, uh, I believe, when we were talking about this earlier, you have sex with that hole in the wall and you call it a woman. Do you not? Uh, no, 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 no. I'm incel. We don't have sex, okay? We simply just insert well, I mean, ourselves inside. If, if you vow not to have sex with any woman and you identify that hole in the wall as Doris a woman, does that mean you will not have sex with Doris? Uh, it is a 99.99999% foolproof plan that we at the National Incel Foundation will not have sex with any woman or man or monkey or dolphin or cat. I mean, as an incel, let's say, let's say, how, how many women do you actually interact with in, in a year? Uh, if I could count on one hand, I'd say this many. Okay, so I think uh, I think you might be able to keep that vowel as long as you don't fuck Doris. I, I, anything is possible. I think what we should really be focusing on is Candace. Candace? Who's Candace? Can this dick fit in your mouth? How, how are you feeling? I am angry. Angry and upset? Angry and upset and determined. Mm-hmm. The United States Congress can keep Roe yeah. versus Wade the broad the land. They just need to do it. America's far left wants to give us free health care and free child care. America's far right wants to give us white supremacy and no democracy. Ever since you've come into office, things are really looking up. Gas is up, rent is up, food is up, everything. A 
السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته. What's going on, the I'm Suraj Hashmi. I'm Jack Kobe. And we're the BB Bros. Welcome to another episode of the BB Power Hour. Jay. Um, oh, I'm not no, gonna lie, I almost fainted should, there. That you, those were those were those were very high end prescription glasses I was wearing. Oh, were they really? Are you that blind? Oh, I'm blind as a bat. Oh shit. <laughs> could be worse, it worked. You, know? you look great my favorite thing about about uh your nerd accent is that how jewish you sound <laughs> you know, you know what what is that show that one show south park that no not south park hold on it was on it nickelodeon it's definitely south park no not south park it was on nickelodeon it, the guy had curly red hair and he was oh, oh dexter's laboratory not Dexter's laboratory either. Dexter is not a Jew. You said curly red hair. hair. Yeah, I said curly red hair. It, was it recess? Hey Arnold, thank Gosh. you. Yes. Hey Arnold, that's oh, what it oh, was. Oh no, it's oh, are you saying it's not the Ben Shapiro show? <laughs> no, because the guy <laughs> the guy is not uh, a redhead. Yeah, hey Arnold. There's also Family balls. I'm sorry, Family Guy. Cock and balls. It's my cock and balls. It's, it's your cock and balls. Yeah. Uh, Sean Estep says, fantastic cold open. Very cold, as it always should be. That's how it's supposed to be. It needs to be that's as dry and as cold as possible sometimes. And we and that's what Carlos. we aim for. Yeah. Um. Thank you for the super chat. Uh. Carlos yeah, Chavez, but yeah, cock and balls. I, yeah, I mean, I could have gone into that a little bit in more detail, but I decided not to spill the beans, you know. Um, what's going on? So, Habibis, uh, welcome. It is a brand new day in America. It was, it's been a long month, guys. It's been a very long month. I am finally back, um, in the land of the living for after Ramadan and. We are we are coming to you live from Rumble, and if you Habibis give us a like and subscribe, leave a comment, hit up the the the, the live chat. But if you want to support us, we actually have uh, a you can get a month free trial to our locals. We do uh, a lot of paywall content by using the promo code GenRuben69, and that will give you a uh, one month free trial to. Actually, um, what happens is people actually pay us to put on our clothes. So given that, uh, there we go. Forgot, this is, a, this is a free episode, okay? You know, this is no bones about it, right, Jay? Absolutely. So Absolutely right. if you want to pay to see our clothes on again, then, yeah, so sign up to our, our locals. So Jay, I don't have a whole lot of time because I got I got to catch I got to I got to travel tomorrow. So let's get right into it. This uh this big brown uh well I said brown I was going to say brown shaking, but this ground shaking that Roe v. Wade is looking like it's going to be overturned. We actually had our interns look over the uh draft <laughs> yes. Samuel Lito. Because apparently that's actually all they're good for since Jay and I can't read. Nope. Uh, ben summarized notes. Says the 14th Amendment does not apply to abortion. Roe and Casey were not based on the Constitution. Viability guidelines set in Roe is completely made up. Uh, abortion should be between state legislatures and the people they represent. And then Casey accidentally overruled guidelines set in Roe by creating, quote unquote, undue burden guideline in which uh which is subjective and not based on the constitution uh jay we briefly touched on this on monday during the list stream and we yeah. wanted to get into more detail uh now that the dust has sort of settled and to and basically the salt has been poured into the wound of many uh libs 
um, mm -hmm. and and basically pro-abortion uh, advocates. Um, what, what, what's what's kind of your read on everything now? Well, now now while the uh, you know the iron is hot, we should also take their right away their rights to drive away, so we could save human lives. <laughs> So not only will we save lives with the abortion ban, we will also save lives through banning their driving. And as a as a, as we need to go as pro life as possible. So, where where does that end? It ends with them and burkas at home, I'm locked away in the kitchen. Uh. Inshallah. Wait, inshallah, inshallah. Actually, it's really funny because I've seen a lot of uh, a lot of libs go full uh, woke and say like, "This is Sharia law in America," and I'm like, "Finally!" <laughs> but Alhamdulillah. Also, Alhamdulillah. It's actually kind of funny because Sharia law is um, not really settled on even this debate, which is funny, right? I mean, well, no, like... it's not settled on this, but it's settled on a lot of different rights that women will not have under Sharia law. Like driving, like driving, like being allowed to leave out of their house without permission to be allowed to dr uh, be allowed to work, be allowed to vote, be allowed to own a business, be allowed to buy a house, be allowed to do absolutely fucking anything. The only thing the the biggest thing here in Sharia law and the, the the what what is the what is the limit? Two weeks. Because. For because what? in the Quran for abortion. Because no, Quran, it's first it's, trimester. Is it trimester or is it is it yeah. uh, two months? Because in there's a surah it's that states the first three that months. Allah that Allah blows the soul into into the be the baby in the belly during the twelfth week of gestation. Not twelfth week. It is. It's not. I mean, we're debating stuff that, like, we may not even know is true or not. This is all based on belief. But I'm pretty sure it's 12 weeks in. Look at him. This is, like, the one thing I know about Islam that Jay doesn't. So. What do you see, Jay? Tell me. I'm just gonna have to rub my nipples now. Yeah, it's after it says after the first three months. You are correct. So after oh, the first, oh, after the first trimester, hold on. hold on, say that slow. Say that slow. You you are correct on this one thing that you've been correct on mm. for Islam in, in mm. so long. But I'm trying to figure out the oh. slow. <laughs> oh, say it slow, Jay. Say it slow. <laughs> Oh, uh oh, uh oh, his his internet went away. So, in anyway, so in in it's Islam in Sharia, it's after the first thirty days, um, and after that, it is haram and not allowed. Wow, thank you, ass man. You're welcome. So, <laughs> uh, there, there's. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we you know we aim to please on this show, right? And and the 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 funny thing about this is that they want to state Sharia, but even if Sharia came in and banned abortion the first uh, the first three months, they would go crazy. They would go Bro, fucking did, insane. The, my my camera froze for some reason. Allah is mad at you. <laughs> 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 oh shit uh, he's still in the background but we can still hear him and stuff there he comes here he comes all right there we go there we go so all right so the most extreme cases like they don't and and what's really funny about this is the more into the pregnancy you go the more the public opinion is that you shouldn't have an abortion because they all know it's a child it's a it's a human it's a human being it's a person being uh being formed within the belly and um i think what overturning roe will do is allow for that that public opinion to actually be in place where they start 
stop like they'll be more like europe like everybody wants europe has a ban on like france for instance has a ban on on abortion after 15 weeks yeah i mean like it's people who are actually um sane and reasonable actually have more of a pro-life stance than i think the average twitter user is capable of understanding particularly on the left you basically just have like if you were to just base all of the america's debate on what's happening on twitter um you will be mistaken by how many people are actually pro-life because really the 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 loudest the loudest ones are also in the fringe minority and you know I am of the belief that, and Jay, I mean, you and I are kind of, I don't know, I I think we've we've talked about this stuff before on the show, but just like in in general, um, you know, if you think about it, Roe v. Wade doesn't ban abortion. Ending Roe v. Wade passes the power from the federal government to the states to decide what to do about abortion because the federal government in this case did a shit ton of overreach by basically putting a blanket statement on legalizing abortion in throughout the country in 1973. Right. So that's what they do all the, all the time is, and it's always going to bite them in the ass at the end of the day. If they don't go through the proper process to get, these things passed or written into law, it's always going to get, this is what's going to happen. And time right. and time again, they're always warned that you don't have power forever. And when it, when it switches hands, this is what's going to happen. Yeah. Um, and speaking of switching hands, especially mid stroke, Blake by says, Sarah Gonzalez just wished me an early happy birthday. Happy early birthday to the King simp. That is Blake by you never go full Blake by for Who the anyone. fuck is Sarah Gonzalez anyways. And I like how he's like, he's like, Oh, this person wished me happy birthday. So now everybody knows it's my birthday. Yeah. That's, that's classic, classic Blake. Okay. That's Don't a classic, like, here, classic Blake move. Allah, Allah wished me a happy birthday. <laughs> she is, she is on the blaze though. She's blaze TV. So I'm sure Jay's going to, Look, look her up. Uh, Carlos, thank you so much for the super chat. Says, why is the Supreme Court against Dwayne Wade? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nate Beebe's, thank you for the super chat. Says, this stream is no longer viable and should be aborted for the well being of all the Beebe's. This is a hundred percent true. Essentially, over, over on Rumble, we have Gambler 2021 saying, holy, holy cow, this is straight up trash. Can well, agree with you more couldn't agree with you more i actually enjoy i mean that the the the, that's the that's the objective though the trash is the point right that's the essence of what we are essence of in fact it's so trashy i'm just gonna zoom in on my nipples for the next like 30 minutes and then i'm gonna go it's just gonna be one nipple (laughs) 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 oh god I'm back, Habibis. I'm back. Hell yeah. And uh, I am so okay. I am so glad you're back. Uh yeah. And it honestly, it was a long time coming because Jay, it was uh um, there's a lot of stuff I missed. No, there there has been. You come back and then women don't have rights anymore. Suddenly. I know it's amazing. Imagine imagine what happens when I'm offline and come back to this um okay so you know everything with roe v wade uh, you know we'll wait and see what actually happens but interestingly enough one of the things that did happen from it that people were upset about was the fact that there was a leak on a an opinion of one of the most controversial rulings this country has seen in the last 50 years and it's I, I don't know for a fact, I, I've, I've heard that it's not the first ever leak uh, that has happened in the Supreme Court. Um, 
but this is definitely the first leak of its magnitude to have of something like this to basically cause an entire uh country to go in full meltdown mode i will right. say this though um and we have talked about it briefly is that this does feel like a, a pressure campaign um yeah it's certainly designed to try to um put pressure on the judges who might be on the fence about this although i can't imagine there actually being any judges who are on the fence with the exception of maybe roberts but even if roberts is, is on the fence and, and ultimately dissents and, and not overturning roe v wade it'd still be a five to four majority so jay who who could potentially else be on the fence within that five judge uh justice circle um not right. named clarence thomas uh, who would potentially say, "Oh, we're not going to overturn Roe v. Wade"? Maybe, maybe Gorsuch, but I don't. Maybe Gorsuch, and I don't see any of the any of the other justices doing doing um, doing that. But it just depends on how much more pressure is going to be pushed on it, and we're going to see a lot in the coming days. And watch the media, watch them, watch how they're going to treat this protest that these protests that will they will turn into riots they will turn into people um crashing into places they're going to turn fucking violent and watch how they they uh welcome not only welcome but cheer it on especially they've already, in they've already to, been calling january for violence. 6th they've already Sorry? been calling for violence They've already been calling for violence. Oh, oh yeah, even and, putting, and politicians putting have fucking, been. Jay, they are putting up fences around the Supreme Court because... Elizabeth uh, Warren is on the war path. <laughs> she, is, she is bringing in the spirits of her ancestors and doing war dances for the media over this and they're all calling for violence not they're not just not calling for violence they're all calling for violence daniel collins thank you for the super chat says on a positive note now that people have to drive out of state to get abortions democrats might finally do something about gas prices uh, hey yo maybe that's why we need sure maybe that's why they're trying to implement sharia because uh we'll finally become a gulf nation that exports gas inshallah inshallah uh, Nate BB says that EST in the background is triggering me. Uh, I think we could, I think we could blame uh, Daniel Whitmer, okay, Daniel Garmo for that one. Probably, yeah, I believe we can. But it's it's really it's really good. It's going to get ugly, guys. I really think it's going to get ugly. I think we already have people calling to to what, what's uh, we have uh, Brad now. Um, what what's what's her name? It was Bradley Cooper. No, what's her name? She was she was in jail, and then she transitioned. They're like, okay, now you oh, need to get Chelsea paid. Manning. Chelsea Manning. Oh, okay, thank you. So yeah, she was calling for people to go buy guns and learn how to use guns, and I'm like, yes, I don't give a fuck who you are. Everybody should go buy guns and ammo, and let's get this shit started. Let's go. Okay, let's All do right, this right on. now. Pause real quick. Eric H says the shirtless thing is getting old. Um, <laughs> all right. So I pose to you. I will create a poll in the chat. Uh, is the shirtless thing getting old? And we'll like get why? we'll get a vote going, and we'll see we'll see what comes in. Or yes. Type N for no. Or I'm sorry. All right, hold on. Type Y for no. T type N also for no. <laughs> uh, so there you go. So it's okay. You know. All right, just do it. Do it right now, and we'll count right all now. of them. Yeah. Uh, t t you know, just drop it in the chat. If it's getting old, we'll put our shirts back on and we won't wear any pants from here on out. Right, Jay? Uh, I'm not wearing pants right now. I mean, I'm not wearing pants right now either. So Eric's Eric types Y, which means no, so it's not getting old. Right. Josh it's and not. Rumble says Y, which means it's not getting old. 
not getting old yeah. and so and Game suffers knee yeah. and uh is in which means it's not getting old and and polycarp is in which means it's not getting old perfect so this is great yeah this i like great. it so we're gonna leave the shirts off perfect right let's do it hey this is us showing support to women showing our nipples okay that's, free that's the true. nipple wasn't that a feminist free thing too nipple. free the nips free the nips faye bb says i miss ramadan I've never heard a Jew say they missed uh, someone else's hit holiday. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, in any event. Um, all right. So, who, Jay, it's looking more and more like the person who leaked it uh, has. Well, first of all, they tried to report that the person who leaked it was what, a Sotomayor clerk. Are we so sure about that? I think it was Sotomayor herself that leaked it. Okay. And I hope that comes into play so we can we can get her the fuck off of that that seat. Because if anybody in 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 SCOTUS is a fucking uh agenda pushing piece of garbage, it's Sotomayor. If any one of them is that, it's Sotomayor. That's it. The only reason why uh, Obama put her in in there in the first place is because she doesn't give a fuck about the Constitution or the law or 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 any of that kind of stuff. She's was, she's just an agenda whore. No, well, also interestingly enough, um, Obama wanted to fill fulfill a diversity quota because he's all about identity politics. So, um, yeah, I think I think he it's it's sad because like. A lot of people, like people, will look at like Elena Kagan and be like, "Or no, no, I'm sorry." People will look at Amy Coney Barrett and say, "What qualifications does she have to be a Supreme Court justice?" And the first, the first words that could, that you could say in response is, "Hello, Elena Kagan. She wasn't a fucking. She didn't do any. All she was was literally what? Was she a solicitor or something like that?" She didn't. No, she you didn't can go shit. for it. I think so. No, she wasn't even a solicitor. Oh, was she a solicitor? Oh, yeah, she was a solicitor general, but only for like what was that? Maybe twelve and no, fourteen months. Before that, she was a dean of Harvard Law School. Come on. Guys. Oh, nice, nice. Oh. The de- a Harvard Law. Yeah, Harvard Law. It's just it, it's it's really. But the thing the thing that makes this bad. And a lot of people are like, oh, don't criticize. Don't uh, If you're criticizing the leak or talking about the leak, you're not talking about the true story. But no, this is a, this is the real story. There's a reason why they're, they're so knit tight on SCOTUS hearings and opinions and stuff before they're actually made public is so there is no um, pressure. There's no public pressure that goes into it or is going to change their minds as they go on. And this activist... This fucking piece of shit is not a hero, is not. And all these journalists, it's amazing. Uh, there is this one by that uh, uh, the Daily Reporter, uh, not Daily Reporter, sorry, Daily Beast. One of these Daily Beast reporters. I think he's still with Daily Beast, but he was like, if you're a journalist criticizing the leak, then you should look for a new job. While all of these fucks, every single one of them, were totally fine with criticizing. Uh, the the New York Post story over uh, Hunter Biden's hacked laptop, and uh, they were cheering on the censorship for it. Can you imagine if Twitter decided to to shut this story down and and uh, suppress it and censor it? Can you imagine the uproar on it? You won't have the the fuck Tucker Carl. I mean not Tucker, but um, Jake Taper going on and just be like, oh. All political has to do is delete the story and they can come back on Twitter. Fucking piece yeah, of yeah, shit. So uh, I, I want to highlight this real quick because uh, from Yamish Alcindor, this is just such a beautiful, beautiful tweet. Yamish tweets out, I'm in Mississippi outside the Jackson Women's Health Organization, the abortion clinic at the center of the SCOTUS case. While conservatives are celebrating the possible end of Roe v. Wade, some women here tell me they feel gutted devastated and like someone has died that is a real tweet and supposedly completely like 
said without a, a hint of irony. Right. It wasn't. It, and honestly, it feels like it feels like it reads. It reads like a Babylon B or a fucking Onion article. Dude, I, I I just cannot believe. I can't believe it. I legitimately cannot believe it. What What's really interesting to me. What's really fucking interesting is that you have no journalist, none except for uh, Peter uh, Peter uh, Ducey. You have no journalists going up and asking every fucking Democrat if they agree with President Biden that it is aborting a child, like he said. He said this. Absolutely wrong. None, none are going and ask, asking any of them to repeat it or ask if they agree. And even though he even stated that it is a right bestowed upon God that they can abort children. Bro, nothing makes sense. And, and I, I just want to highlight the fact that Elizabeth Warren seems to be the sole individual championing this whole... Um, I mean, she's becoming the face of all of this, I'd, I'd say. And I, where the fuck was that tweet? It was around here somewhere. I just had it. God damn it. This is all this is all Spencer and Ben's fault. Spencer decided to take finals for school and try to get good grades. And here I am, unprepared for this. But anyways, Elizabeth Warren losing her shit. Um, it is... First of all, I don't know if there is anyone that makes you more adamant about implementing Sharia to put um, women in burgers than, say, if Elizabeth Warren was leading the charge. Right? Right. And it's amazing. You guys, and here it is. I'm, I'm getting it for you right now. So you oh, can you can play time. the you can play the video you fucking boomer. Oh, thank you. Oh God, you're, you're so kind. Thank you. Uh, hey, that's what I'm here for. That is but that is what you I'm. You are for. you are one of a kind, sir. You are one of a kind, sir. I can't help it. Let's see if it works. Can you hear it? I am angry. Angry and upset. Can you hear it? Angry and upset. Could you hear it? I am angry. <laughs> I am. How you How you How you I am angry, angry and upset, angry and upset and determined. The United States Congress can keep Roe versus Wade the law of the land. They just need to do it. I, I've never seen you so angry. You seem to be. This is what the Republicans have been working toward this day for decades. They have been out there plotting, carefully plotting. cultivating these Supreme mm. Court justices so they could have a majority on the bench who had accomplished something that the majority of Americans do not want. 69% of people across nice. this country, across this country, red states and blue states, old people and young people, want Roe versus Wade to maintain as the law of the land. In the we need to do that. We, <laughs> we, and we, we have a right. Don't do your fucking so job, man. You fucking land. pieces of and shit. If that's exactly what you want, it was so easy to go and do and all that kind of stuff, go make it the fucking law of the land. Do your job. Do the shit that we fucking pay you for. Don't go and pretend like all of this fucking stuff yeah, this makes is, you angry and you're so on the warpath and all of this fucking <laughs> bullshit when you not, don't do your job for 50 fucking years for 50 fucking years they didn't do shit they didn't do anything yeah. so so what is what's this the, you want to get oh, mad Jay, at what? other people for working towards this go do your jobs you fucking literally pieces of shit. we pay them hundreds of thousands of dollars and bro, they don't do their jobs literally lawmakers complaining that they uh that the uh, another body of government another branch of government is undoing 50 years of precedent that they should have never gotten involved with. The judiciary doesn't legislate. They shouldn't be legislating. That is the job of the legislative nope. body, fucking Congress. Okay? If Congress had any fucking balls, they would do it themselves, but they couldn't. So that's why they got the Supreme Court basically to do it for them. Eric Kalanak, thank you for the super chat. Says, glad I finally caught y'all. The shirtless podcast was making me weirdly uncomfortable. May need therapy. Alhamdulillah. Um, 
Uh, look, therapy is great. Look, that, if <laughs> any way we can move you guys towards therapy, we'll do it. We will. Yes. And we'll also, if you support us on locals, time. if you support us on locals, then we will absolutely uh, keep our clothes on throughout um, because that's what you pay for. Um, you pay to put exactly. clothes on us. us we're keep... like the reverse. Jay, we're like a reverse strip club, right? Yeah, it's it's a reverse OnlyFans. You pay us reverse to keep OnlyFans. our clothes on. Absolutely. Um, okay, we have another another few a few other stories. Uh, God, there's so much news actually happening this week. Which one did you want to do next? Did you want which one do you want to talk about real quick? That didn't get enough attention because so everybody's talking about. We got uh, Chappelle White House Correspondents Dinner. We got Biden Disinformation Board. We got the uh, what's it called CDC phone tracking. I mean, what is it? Let's let's go for the the Biden's Disinformation Board because okay, this is like talking straight about out. This is straight out of like an or or William or as Candace Owen likes to say, the Ministry of Magic from Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! So here's oh what happened: Department of Home- so the Department of Homeland Security, uh, Alejandro Mayorkas, the the Secretary of the DHS, uh, as well as the White House and the entire Biden administration. Uh, they announced an interagency team uh, dubbed the Disinformation Governance Board to coordinate department activities activities related to disinformation aimed at the U.S. population and infrastructure. Nina Jankovic, is, who is a quote-unquote disinformation expert with experience working on <laughs> Ukraine and Russia issues, of all things, Jay, was tapped to helm the board. Uh, mind you, uh, Nina Jankovic uh, is... Uh, mind you, Jankovic was one of the people who said that the steel dossier is real, is legitimate, and it's not Russian disinformation. And if you actually dispute that, then you're you must be a Russian asset. Um, so, right. of course, the Biden administration is defending this move. Uh, it's one of those things where we look at how people on the left are talking about how everything that the right is doing or anyone who's right of basically Stalin uh, is a fascist is uh, an authoritarian wants to make your life a living hell and uh, just wants to control you except they're guilty of that exact same fucking thing. This whole disinformation governance right. board, it's all a fucking ruse to absolutely target Americans for speech whether it be political or apolitical and basically put the crosshairs of the federal government on them yeah trying to silence it's it's silencing and censor trying to silence and censor them through the federal government and it's homeland security so we know exactly what they're going to be doing by tracking everyone's phones tracking everyone's messages going through all of your emails doing all of that kind of stuff that free went right all and your dick pics all of all of my dick pics that I photoshopped all of to my make six pics. inches, and they'd be like, "Oh, mm-hmm. that's misinformation. It's supposed to be one and a half inches, not this six is inches." Looking deceptive. That's what they're going to be doing. But this is this is really fucking insane, and it is like you are already watching. You're already watching people in the media like Brian Stelter, that piece of fucking garbage, and Co defending this and john hardwood and all of these fucking cnn pieces of fucking garbage defend this when they were whining about like censorship and things being uh uh, stricken down by the trump administration they're welcoming this shit because it's all flowing one way so and they already flow misinformation that comes one way they're already donkeys and parrots for the administration so they're totally fine with shit like this happening and the, the director herself pushed disinformation, tweeted disinformation, fucking did TikTok songs of misinformation. And they, and they made her uh, the thing. And the, what's really interesting about this is that they had a hearing and Kennedy asked him, what was your interview process in, in picking this director? And they're like, we didn't even interview her. We had nobody else uh, we wanted to, to interview or pick. We just picked her. And he and they went on about her tweets and all that kind of stuff. It's like, oh, we didn't even dig in that. We didn't even see that. We didn't even even do our due fucking diligence before putting somebody as head of a disinformation board. And what's really amazing is if you look back into it, they were saying 
that it's disinformation when you talk about masks not working. That turned out not to be true. It was disinformation when you talked about, when you said that the, that it wasn't Russia interference with the the election, or or um, you know Russia hacking uh, the election. They still claim that Russia ha hacked the election. Are we going to see the disinformation board go after those those people? No, I don't know. Before we get uh, any further, I uh, just want to highlight this super chat from Faye Bibi. Thank you, uh, Faye Bibi, for this. Um, Habiti. Uh, Faye Bibi says Warren and her ilk, meaning Elizabeth Warren, know very well the majority of Americans don't support abortion on demand at all stages of pregnancy. If they did, no need for Roe. Congress would have passed it long ago, but they won't because they know support isn't there. Essentially 100% correct. What, 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 what? Oh. <laughs> Baby says Garage J. By the way, that super chat was originally $69, but you lost $10 each for shirtlessness. <laughs> <laughs> well, we hope to gain it back. We hope to gain it back by doing that. Inshallah, too. Hovering is really quite ferocious. It's when a huckster takes some lies and makes them sound precocious by saying them in Congress or a mainstream outlet. So, disinformation's origins are slightly less atrocious. It's how you hide a little, hide a little lie. It's how you hide a little, hide a little lie. It's how you hide a little, hide a little lie. When Rudy Giuliani shared that intel from Ukraine, or when TikTok influencers say COVID can cause pain, they're laundering disinfo, and we really should take note and not support their lies with our wallet, voice, or vote. Oh, information laundering is really quite ferocious. It's when a huckster takes some lies and makes them sound precocious by saying them in Congress or a mainstream outlet. So yes, information's origin seems likely less atrocious. <laughs> <laughs> God, that's so good, Jay. Jesus fucking Christ, my that's Nina, God. This is this is Nina Jankowicz, who is actually, I, I shit you not, she is the head now of this disinformation governance board. Um, tweeting out, you can call me the Mary Poppins of disinformation. And um, honestly, Jay, she is, uh, you know, aside from her views, like she's actually... I, I would argue too talented for this position. Okay. I, they, you know, they should have like a musical theater department in government where they send all the musical theater nerds and they just put on like, you know, government propaganda in musical theater form. Right. Well, and, 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 and we had, it's not like we don't see that from socialist fucking communist fucking countries in of itself. Look at North Korea. Yeah. North Korea loves music and dance when it comes to pushing propaganda. So she would be great for it. They're already fucking commie socialists. So why not? They'll do it. They're really great at it, too. It's absolutely fucking insane to me. Insane to me that we do not have anybody in the media outside of right wing media or right leaning media that are actually out here criticizing this, sounding the fucking alarms against it. Because it is absolutely 100% an infringement on the First Amendment. That's exactly what it is. Bro, and it uh, and should be stricken down by, by SCOTUS. It has bro, you to know be. Like, this happen. is an infringement on First Amendment. Yeah, they're going to use, they're going to weaponize this disinformation governance board against the pro-life movement first. Because that's obviously the, the current thing, right? The current thing yep. of Roe v. Wade, overturning Roe v. Wade. The current thing is keep abortion legal. I support the current thing, right? So, yep. Disinformation Governance say Board. This is what I, I'm, you know, the, if you want to say what you heard it here first, fine. You heard it here first. But we all know, like, the logical, you know, conclusion is that they're going to start targeting pro life groups and start saying, actually, you know what? Um, life doesn't begin until the, the baby's actually born. Right. That's so what they're going to say. Anything before that, it's all it's all fair. It's all fair. You can yeah, you can abort a fetus. Yeah. Why 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 should you have any say? How dare you tell a woman what to do with her body? Okay. Right. And How then they're going to say men, you, sir, okay? And, How dare you? And then they're going to say and then they're going to say men can can have uh have babies, but not you. They're already saying it. The they're, right are, they, they're already saying it. There are groups, there are college groups that are condemning Kamala Harris for talking about how about a woman's right to choose and how she's being transphobic and exclusionary of like non-binary uh queer folk you, you know you name it trans, trans random bullshit 
It's amazing. It's and it, what's really amazing too is is uh, the editorial board wrote an opinion piece in Washington Post stating how this is going to be bad for for SCOTUS. Let's let's push that aside for one second. But in that editorial, there were zero, zero mentions of women, zero words women. If you if you search if you search the whole thing, zero. It's all birthing people, birthing person, uh, birthing birthing individual, like all of this stupid fucking um, rhetoric against it. Zero against uh, zero women were mentioned in that article. Second, this article is a threat. It's a threat stating that it is going to be legitimate to criticize and delegitimize the SCOTUS institution and SCOTUS itself over this ruling. If they rule not towards the agenda that they want, they are going to start writing articles stating that it is totally okay to ignore anything SCOTUS rules on. Yeah, I, you know, that's the thing is, and uh, we did talk about the pressure campaign. People were talking about how, like, this is going to be what ends up completely undoing the court. I can imagine that this is going to be what ushers in the phase of this is why we need to expand the court because we can't trust these nine Supreme Court justices with all this power. And honestly, I could see sort of all of this being used as a pretext, but most importantly, Jay, I see this as a pretext to try to win over the midterm elections because Democrats have nothing. They literally have nothing. So they create crises or they never let a crisis go the way. So they're going to use crisis. this to galvanize crisis. their base, thinking that they actually have numbers on their side and trying mm-hmm. to not or at least try to stave off the absolute uh, impending slaughter that they're going to have in November. Uh, right from losing the House and Senate, but you know what? This is this is going to be so two weeks after two weeks. There's going to be another current thing that we're going to be on here talking about uh, because people are going to totally forget about. It. And the one and the reason why is because not many people are like so online. The majority of people are not so online. The majority of people are are concerned about inflation, concerned about the uh, federal the Federal uh, Reserve raising their interest rate by another 0.5 bringing it to the highest rate it's ever been since 2008 making it very hard for people to actually go purchase houses now and inflation going up as well it is it and and the 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 scariest thing and the re and and the thing that's going to happen next is if you buy a house now at the interest rates that they are at compared to what they were just a year and a half or two years ago you're going to be out you're going to be out the 20%, 15%, 10% you put down next year because inf- inflation and and the interest rates are going up so 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 much that it's going to bring your house value down. And right. that is what people are going to actually be caring about. They care about how much milk is for, uh, for their children. They care about yeah. how much they, gas they is, they care about, is still on the rise. And they care about whether or not they're going to be able to afford their homes. Yeah, but most importantly, Jay, how much does mommy milky cost? <laughs> right well if you eat ass right mommy milky is always free that's true Alhamdulillah. okay so uh since we're running out of time jay i actually think we should do another episode tomorrow night i don't know if we if you're around i'm not going to be able to the reason Mother- why i can't do it the, the reason why is because let me just tell you why yeah because pam actually bought the uh bought um Premier tickets for for uh, Doctor Strange. Oh yeah, you got to go to that. And I got to do that. And we can do we can do, do it. it Friday night if you're free. Yeah, I'll be around. I should be around. We'll, we'll figure it out. But either way, let's yeah. let's let you know because I I have to travel tomorrow, so I can't like stay up too late. So I gotta we gotta cut it off at an hour. I'm and what's sure. really amazing, yeah. Habibis, Habibis, wait. So you can't stay oh. up late. When is your flight tomorrow? It, it, people are going to think it's like 3 a.m., 4 a.m., 5. What, 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 what time is your flight tomorrow? Jay. It's it's before 9. Okay, before... Oh, that's... <laughs> <laughs> before 9 a.m. 
You know, you know how tough it is to get up that early, Jay. <laughs> Especially when I have to pack, I have to pack all this equipment that I literally am streaming on. You son of a bitch. This little this I hate you so much. Okay. Uh let's just quickly speed through the other stories. All right, White House correspondents down there. All the elites are getting COVID. Uh, we all knew that was gonna happen. Um of course. <laughs> and it's so happen. it's so great. I love that Dave it Chappelle, happens. Fuck all of them. Dave Chappelle gets tackled by a member of the audience for, uh, we don't know yet, but we imagine it's because of all of his trans jokes. Um, and that dude got fucked up. Which are hilarious. He did. That dude got fucked up. So congratulations, Will Smith, on setting that precedent, you piece of shit. And then, and the funny thing is, uh, Chris Rock came up afterwards. And he's like, "Was that Will Smith?" Yeah, was that <laughs> you? Will? First, uh, that was the first joke he made over that shit. Amazing. Uh, Fabi says AM or PM. Yes, it's nine AM. Javi thinks it's nine PM. Uh, Christian Schmidt says, "Guys, I'm about to graduate from college on Saturday. Thank you for being a great show." Well, Christian, thank congratulations. you. Congratulations. Mabruk, Habibi. Mabruk. Mabruk. I hope, hopefully, proud, you're not yeah. you're not in too much debt over uh, over a stupid piece of paper. But inshallah, it it brings you and you uh, uh, more more <laughs> your your family more feeling more proud of you than my dad and Siraj's dad combined. Mm -hmm. Inshallah. Maybe we says Siraj. People have attacked other people on stage before. No, not before, not before Dave Chappelle. That's never happened. Ever. It's never happened. Before. Zero, zero percent that's ever happened before. Zero percent. Okay, real quick. I want to talk about this story real quick because this actually, you told me about, I'm like, holy shit. Like this actually vindicates basically everyone. Or mm -hmm. I want to say Alex Jones was right, but I don't know if he even, he predicted this. So the <laughs> CD, uh, Vice... Vice reports that CDC tracked millions of phones to see if Americans followed COVID lockdown orders because of a fucking course they did, Jay. Absolutely. So newly released documents show that the CDC planned to use phone location data to monitor schools and churches and wanted to use the data for many non-COVID-19 purposes, too. So literally, the CDC, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the whole organization that thought, oh, we're going to like crank out a, a fucking vaccine within a year. And then they're like, we have no idea why COVID keeps getting spread, you guys. And they, but before all that, Jay, we all knew, we all knew that they were good. Like we saw in China, like like we saw in South Korea, like we saw in so many different countries in Canada, um, even Pakistan Australia. and India, Australia. Oh, yeah. Australia, New Zealand, just some of the worst. All of them did something that completely infringed on the rights of their citizens. And America is no fucking different. In fact, well, people think that the United States had the weakest response because people just wanted to live their lives they didn't want to right live because life. they didn't lock us down they, they didn't lock us in our fucking physically lock us in our homes that's that's why we still were able to cross state state lines like the 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 we were lucky honestly we we're lucky. i but I, I i feel so bad because i think the lockdowns in 2020 that caused a lot of businesses to go under is going to mm -hmm. cause more harm in the long run than COVID would if we just kept going, if we just kept our lives going. And the most vulnerable people just stayed home. Like, there's no reason. Maybe there, no, 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 there's no reason for people like you and me, people in their 30s, people in their 20s, people who are healthy, who are not um, susceptible to, to uh, these type of uh, diseases, respiratory mm -hmm. diseases to stay home, to close the economy down completely like that was just a fucking idiotic, stupid fucking move. And to close the schools, like, holy fuck, who? Nobody was thinking. Nobody was thinking. And now you have you have the 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 head of the uh, school school unions 
talking about how it is so important that we tr we need to treat uh, students because of mental illness that has been on the rise constantly year over year and now even more because of the lockdowns when they were calling for lockdowns and and wanting and pressuring the the governments to keep the lockdowns going you want to hear something even crazier jay is that every single telecom company took part in it AT&T Verizon you name it they couldn't just do this shit on the, the CDC could not do this shit on their own. Okay. Nope. Who do you think gave them that data? Of course, all the telecommunications Absolutely. companies that get that gathers this data is more than just collecting data. Like, you know, the NSA Snowden leak, this is goes far beyond this because they are literally using l privileged information, your location, uh, what you may be doing, uh, who you may be talking to, who you may be messaging, all of that privileged information that is supposedly held within the confidence between you and you know maybe your loved ones or friends or whoever, the government is accessing that. And they're specifically doing yes. it in the name of public health to try to save you from yourself. They are truly a nanny state. It is way beyond, uh, it, it's, go, it's broken beyond repair. Like, uh, Jay, I'm getting close to the point of saying, uh, like what you say, and that is burn it all down. Like that is literally uh, the CDC. It, this is just it's the fucking Center for Disease Control and Prevention, not not the fucking CIA. They're not the they're not the FBI. No, they're or not. NSA. Like what the fuck are you doing, guys? And they have they they're not supposed to have any power. More like they had more power than Congress to lock everything down. More power than the executive. Uh, exactly, do just Jerry? They had that much power. What the fuck are we even doing with these type of organizations? With the NSA, with with the CDC, the fucking CDC, with the CIA, with the FBI, with all of these fucking places, they infringe on our fucking rights, our true rights, over and over and over again. And why? Like this, it makes no sense. And yes, we should um, burn it all down. Everything yeah. needs to be purged. Everything. The, the 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 Department of Education, the CDC, the fucking agricultural department, the fucking Department of Homeland Security, the Department of whatever, and what the shit needs to be taken down because it's no more it's no longer like defending us from enemies abroad or or protecting us from from domestic terrorists or any of this type of shit it doesn't do any of that it just infringes on your rights and i hate the 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 there's a lot of people out there that use this dumb fuck fucking the idiotic thing is like well i have nothing to hide let them search everything fuck you yeah yeah Sarah Higdon says, we had someone show us at a log cabin meeting how to check your info that pings the towers. It's kind of amazing how easy it is for them to track you. Baby B says, Siraj J, read my comments in this. The two above, I literally think this was illegal for them. And I'm saying that based on professional experience. Uh, hold on, I, I hope. Oh, here we go. Seriously, how did the CDC do this? They're not a law enforcement agency. This literally isn't legal for them. My agency wanted to track social media posts once, and we weren't allowed to because we're not a law enforcement agency. Um, it's, I mean, look, it, everything that we're seeing Black happening action. right now. Yeah. We need to sue the government. We need to sue the government and sue the CDC over this and over infringing, infringing on our rights and our privacy in, in tracking us. That's what needs to happen yeah. right now. Let's okay, do so it. Where's, they, where's LB? LB's not watching today. God damn it, the one time we really need you. I mean, I have, I have the only legal experience I have with, is Suits, watching Suits season one, all the way to the end in one week. That's how good I am that's, at that's legal, how good you are. legal matters. So we literally only have 69 seconds left uh, for Ask Us Anything because um, if I go a second longer, Emily will kill me. So let's go ahead and uh, take a question. <laughs> a single question. <laughs> A single question. question. One question. Any uh, whoever gets it in first, rumble. Anyone want to rumble? Type Let's it in go. quick. One question. <laughs> if if the if I uh, seriously if I get one if the question is tits or ass, that's the question. That's literally going to be, and we are we already know. Hobby, there we go. There's the one question. Why are you the way you are? Keep your shirt on. 
Thank you, Abby. Oh. I love this new tattoo. It's really great. It's a nice. Yeah, it's, it's a nice tattoo. I like it. Yeah. So Habibis, uh, we actually do have to. I actually really do have to jet because. Um, but maybe, maybe we might do a since Jay is going to be um, going to see uh, a movie. Maybe uh, I will be doing some streaming on my own. So we'll see what happens. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Uh, Jay, great show. I know we've packed a lot in an hour, um, but uh, inshallah, we'll we'll try to reconvene, maybe do some local stuff over the weekend or something like that. But don't, uh, obviously, in the description, don't forget, if you haven't already, donate uh, or share the GoFundMe for Stacy to help her find a new heart. Uh, Stacy, who is a loyal Habibti, um, she is yeah. uh, currently... Um, she had a procedure today. I heard. I heard it went well. But uh, yeah, don't hesitate to donate. Description. Uh, description below. Love you, Habibis. I'm Suraj Hashmi. I'm Jack Kobe. We'll see you next week on Habibi Power Hour. Peace, Master Lama. <laughs>